Hi, this is a quick showcase video to demonstrate how I attach a Raspberry Pi 3 to my Prima Creator P120 3D printer, which is actually the same as the Monoprice MP Select Mini. I have shared all resources in Thingiverse and GitHub. On the Raspberry Pi, I have installed Octoprint. If you're looking for a video tutorial how to do it, have a look at my other video. A link is available in the description. Monoprice MP Select Mini is a low-cost 3D printer popular in the United States. Very similar models are also available on the European market under a different name. I have a Prima Creator P120, which I bought three years ago. In Asia, this printer is also known as Malayan M200. Honestly, these three printers look exactly the same to me. The only difference is the branding. Don't expect too much out of them. There is a reason for this low cost. For this setup, I'm refurbishing an old transparent case for Raspberry Pi 2 and 3. In my case, I have Raspberry Pi 3. The case is manufactured by Multicomp. The key feature for this particular case are the two wall mounting holes on the back. Of course, instead of using this particular Raspberry Pi case, you can 3D print a similar. I have measured the distance between the wall mounting holes on this Raspberry Pi case and using the free and open source software OpenSCAD, I'm designing a mount which I'm going to 3D print and put on top of my printer so that I can put the Raspberry Pi case on it. I love the simplicity of OpenSCAD. It's perfect for simple designs like this. It has a special programming language, but actually it's easy to learn it. The graphical user interface is super simple. You write the source code on the left and the 3D model is rendered on the right. That's it. The source code for this stand is available at GitHub and the exported STL file is available at Thingiverse. After exporting the 3D model to STL file, in OpenSCAD, I have sliced it using Ultimaker Cura and I have 3D printed it. The whole 3D printing takes a bit more than an hour. Here I have recorded just the final part of the 3D printing. When the model is ready, remove it from the plate of the 3D printer and get ready for the next step. Here is the final result. By the way, I have printed it with PLA. It is a super simple model. So the result is quite good. Now comes the interesting part. I need a way how to attach the Raspberry Pi case to the stand that I have just 3D printed. I need a couple of M2.5 screws and nuts, as well as a soldering iron. With the soldering iron, I'm going to heat the nut and it will go into its place in the 3D printed stand. I have to do this twice for each of the nuts. After heating the nut to the appropriate temperature, it goes almost naturally in the 3D printed stand. It is pretty cool to know that I can use the soldering iron in various ways, even without soldering. The final step is to go to my workshop and to put the whole thing on top of my 3D printer. Of course, because of safety concerns, at that point, it is mandatory to have the 3D printer completely turned off. I also need a screwdriver. I'm removing two screws from the top of the 3D printer. I'm placing the 3D printed mounting stand on their place and after that using these two screws I'm fastening it to the 3D printer. It must be fastened very tight to make sure that it won't move while the 3D printer is working. Then I can attach the Raspberry Pi 3 and its case to the mounting stand. Have a look how there is a special place for the USB cable on the mounting stand. Another USB cable connects the Raspberry Pi to my 3D printer so Octoprint can control it. I'm ready to turn on the Raspberry Pi and enjoy Octoprint. Octoprint is a great free and open source software for controlling 3D printers, specially designed for single board computer such as Raspberry Pi. In my YouTube channel, I have already published other videos about Raspberry Pi, Octoprint and 3D printers. Please have a look at the description of the video for more information as well as links to the source code and the files needed to 3D print this mounting stand. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay tuned for new cool videos.